Well, welcome back. This is Achilles week in 9, 10, 1, 9, 10, I don't remember, but I got my first squat today on the Smith machine. You know, I feel like every time I sit here, something new is happening. Where do I begin? So this week has been like a phenomenal week in terms of progress with the Achilles, okay? So let's start at day one, Monday. Ain't nothing happened. I just did all my exercises, some like crab walks and all that stuff. Monday I did go to the gym, I did all upper body. Wednesday I had physical therapy and I only had one session this week. I don't know, the scheduling was weird with my physical therapist. I ended up getting my first squat on the, what's it called, the little BOSU ball thing. So I'm, I'm progressing quite well and today I went to the gym right after work and I was able to get like squats with the like, I don't know what it's called, the little band you put around your knees and uh, keeping them out. It works like your, your glutes and your hips. I was able to do the Smith machine, Smith machine squats there. No weight on the bar, of course, because I'm not ready for that yet. And then uh, just a few reps of that body weight. So that was nice. And then I did my exercises. I worked some core. So that's good. So I'm progressing quite well in terms of the Achilles. The only thing is like now that the exercises, because my... my physical therapist I think she has her doctorate in kinesiology and physiology sports physiology and sports therapy so she knows what she's talking about so as soon as like I'm able to progress to a certain point she's like, okay let's push a little bit so I'm not gonna lie I am a little bit sore in my Achilles just because I'm building up the strength and it does swell up a little bit and then it gets a little bit hard because uh, that scar tissue that's in there nevertheless I'm making good progress okay I know next week my brother is coming over and we'll be doing some training stuff so I'll probably take him to the gym and take him to the court and train him a little bit so you will get a video of me training him it's gonna it's gonna be comprised of some beginner stuff and some intermediate stuff he's not quite at the advanced level yet and I can't teach him advanced because I can barely I, I, <laughs> I can walk but I can't run you feel me it'd be hard to teach it if I can't demonstrate the advanced stuff it can great Achilles progress or so I hear um, I haven't gotten into stretching yet we're focused on the strengthening portion and then stretching will come in like I want to say a month or so what three months post surgery is about 12 weeks and that's when you start to do the stretching and then the you know loading in the stretch position and all that stuff so right now the furthest I've been able to do with loading in the stretch position is you lay on the total gym I have mine at a like a mm, about a 50 degree angle straight leg calf raises you go up with both feet you take off the non-injured side and you do a slow eccentric with with the injured foot that mess bruh my Achilles was on fire I'm not gonna lie that thing was burn and burn and burn and like bro it hurt I'm not gonna lie then that's the part that sucks about recovery is it is going to hurt the initial injury for me it didn't hurt it didn't come off the bone it just like split in two so it, it was fine I had a little bit of soreness for like a day or two after and I had probably like a little bit of sore soreness once I was you know slowly changing that angle in the boot but this recovery process soreness is no joke. Like I wake up the next morning and my foot is like, <laughs> it don't move, it's sore. And then the scar tissue makes it stiff. So I'm like, I'm not really able to have a little bit of a limp just due to the soreness. It's not because of functionality, but the soreness, bro, ain't nothing like it. <laughs> Y'all pray for me, bro. <laughs> I'm suffering. Um, but yeah, it, it's been nice. It's been a good recovery process and hopefully it continues to go well. Honestly, I'm not too worried about like rushing back to basketball. I am eager to get back to it, but I'm not in a rush. You know what happens when you rush? You get more injured. So I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Should be fine though. Should be fun. I, I have like two months left of physical therapy and then I'm on my own doing home exercises, strengthening, and then I'll be back fully competitive basketball March I'll be back on the court, like being able to train at a certain capacity and do plyometrics by December. Oh so yeah, it, it, it's gonna be fun. And then you will see more games. The 1v1, I do not know why I'm holding out on releasing it. It's not a bad 1v1. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, and this has nothing to do with the Achilles. I'm gonna give some context. I was not taking this dude seriously, okay? I st I'm not gonna give away the results. I was out there to train. He was out there to train. I said, hey bro, I do YouTube. I'm a hooper, I'm not a YouTube hooper. I do this, but I just finished a workout. You clearly just finished a workout. Do you want to play 1v1 for the channel? He said it was cool, so we played. It's like how Kenny got beat by flight. I didn't get beat, but like you you don't take a, a certain person seriously because like you see the skill set 
and you kind of sag off a little bit and then somehow they their sliders go from like a 60 overall to like a 900 overall and they're like prime lebron galaxy opal from 2k16 bro like you'll see you'll see you'll see you see the clips already that's it like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next video well <laughs> wait a minute i forgot um um we got our first channel sponsor bro okay we're sponsored by uh wgg energy it's kind of like that other company i'm not gonna say their name because i'm not affiliated with them but w energy use my code chris can hoop i think it gives you like 20 percent off so go ahead and try that new flavor just released it's called <laughs> grandpa's denture water <laughs> I don't even know what to say for that one. I don't. Uh, but that's a new flavor that just released. My shaker and my sample packs come in. Also, partnered with Vital Apparel. It's it's a, a fitness brand that uh, supports like anxiety and mental health, which I you know I have anxiety. So perfect. Use also use my code Chris. Can, that's just the code for everything. If you find something that I have like you get a discount on, it's Chris Can Hoop. Just use that. Use Chris Can Hoop at in the lab. Get your five dollars off only code that won't be chris can hoop is my protein us and that is christopher dash r40 like comment subscribe all that good stuff i am getting back to a point where i can actually like do a little more physicality so <sighs> that's all i got for you like man my contacts are dry what the heck